I managed to get a bit of a high ground and you can see this is like a sea of people. It's a lot and it's been going on for blocks now, many blocks. So it's a lot of discontent. strike which is causing all the problems in the city demonstration in one of the squares here I don't know exactly what they're saying obviously but I think it is the strike I see many of the unions and syndicates and political parties present so it has to be that and I think they're protesting or demonstrating right in front of the symbol of the Republic here from the little that I have read this huge strike going on for so long shutting down all the services is because there are proposed pension reforms now especially in america everyone says that france is crazy when it comes to the social welfare pensions and all kinds of stuff they get and uh, that's really hurting their competitiveness so macron the president is proposing reforming all these welfare programs it seems more something like a neoliberal program start cutting uh, welfare and regulations to make them more competitive in the global markets and this is the reaction to that so let's take a look CGT so quite interesting here some of them are a little bit rowdy, but it's not really in any way violent currently. Though we do know that France erupts in fire often from these gatherings and protests. There's a flag of Che Guevara over there. Right here. Definitely communists and socialist presence here, which you would assume from the presence of unions, and that's really who is instigating all this. It continues quite a while. Excuse me, do you know what's going on here? Uh, there is a big uh, demonstration against uh, macro uh, pension. Pension, yeah, retirement, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so there are a lot of people against the government. I see. And, uh, against the entire uh, politics, government's politics. I see. So this is, means that all these people are not working and they're parts of different uh, government services? Yeah, uh, the people are striking today. Okay. So, so these are yeah. the people who are part of the strike? Sorry? These people are part of the strike? They're, they're in the unions? Uh, yeah, I think a lot of them uh, belong to, uh, to a union, but uh, there are also a lot of people uh, outside of I see. the union, yeah. Supporters? Yeah, supporters. I see. And is there like a political party behind this or is it everybody? Uh, there are a lot of political parties in the demonstration, but uh, 
the, the, the unions like CGT and Force Ouvrière. They are the, the backbone of uh, the demonstration. I see. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So my assumptions are largely correct. This is the doing of the union, but some political parties are backing it. And a lot of them are striking workers, but it's also people who support them who are here. doing of the French left wing if you think about it I don't know whether the same people who are part of the yellow vest movement are aligned with this I only see a few yellow vests and some of them are yellow but they have the union signage signage which normally the yellow vests don't have so I think these are different people I think the yellow vests are either more in the middle or to the right and these people are more on the left but regardless they have a lot of numbers in here and they came out quite strong now it is clear why none of the public services are working because all the people that are meant to be working are here and they're not only shutting down trains and things they're shutting down the streets as well at least in this area this is the first time I came around here and saw this it's pretty big I have to say it's very large so this is largely a protest against Macron's reforms but it also is altogether against neoliberalism itself or you could say capitalism which kind of they kind of go hand in hand together now if you remember Macron barely defeated Le Pen who is the leader of the right wing and Macron is more of a centrist um, he's not left wing either his predecessor was the socialist uh, and he was incredibly unpopular in the end very low rating and he was removed because of that so apparently he does still have support or at least the socialist party does and everyone on the left because this is pretty huge and if Macron who was the centrist who barely won last time is facing such backlash from the left and from the right it really makes you wonder how long a more centrist government can survive in France it seems to me that the next one is going to be either on the left or on the right most likely on the right actually if we judge by the results last time so it's very very likely that when Macron is up for re-election if he even makes it that far we're going to see a very different situation in France and what you're seeing here at least to me as an uh, someone who lives in the USA it, it looks like a lot of public discontent and it um, echoes what I've heard from a lot of people who I've been talking to and they say the same thing like people are stressed right now they're not very happy about the situation here um, a lot of things they're having to sacrifice and, and now it's coming down to pensions apparently are on the chopping block so the situation it appears to me unsustainable something will change and if I had to guess where the next country in the West is where things are going to change a lot it's France Now this part no longer looks so much like a party and people are more serious and hit their slogans and so on and they're standing around here blocking something I don't know why they're gathered exactly here but uh, this whole thing is incredibly big um, I'm surprised looking at certain scenes here in the streets of Paris can't help but remind you of the revolution um, nothing is yet violent there are, some people are lighting firecrackers over there but that's not much uh, but there have been severe fights um, in the yellow jacket or yellow vest protests um, I don't think this will erupt in such because 
this has to do with the government workers and it would be pretty bad if some kind of fight comes out of them but who knows um, this is france so anything can happen he has a very strong protest culture and you could say riot culture and revolution culture so we don't know what happens this is happening about four hours before i have to catch my train so it's rather on the tail end but i'll stay here as long as i can and try to film it and see what i can get here i managed to get a bit of a high ground and you can see this is like a sea of people it's a lot and it's been going on for blocks now many blocks so it's a lot of discontent so you can see in the u.s there's a lot of bickering among political circles but the american people are not coming out like this by the tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands and I, I think that is mostly because the economy in the USA is very good well here it's coming down to cutting public services at this point so you can see there's a lot of discontent and this is mostly from the left I think if all the left and the right that were discontent came out at once what that would look like Here's the French police standing in full armor and they even have the gas masks if in case and tear gas. Very impressive. So far what I'm seeing though the police are outnumbered in very very large numbers. Um, if this turns into a riot it will be pretty hard to control it and to take cover but i imagine the police has done this many times and is prepared however there have been times in the last year of protests where it has looked quite perilous that it will slip out of control so i have often wondered just watching news um, how close is the protest to overpowering the state i don't know i i don't truly know the the power of the French state to be able to control this but it seems like it has a lot of opposition so it makes you wonder what support it has and what resources it has and how much manpower it has and so on to be able to control this and to to survive truly because uh, I think a lot of these people and the yellow vest protest both of them really want to overthrow this government so I don't see it uh, surviving for long especially since they are also up for re-election not from long from now uh, if so many people are against you how you win the re-election I'm not so sure I just am impressed by the size of this crowd I, I don't necessarily agree with these people's point at all I'm simply reflecting this as I see it I, I don't bring any of my views into this there I'm seeing communist flags waving so there's little doubt that a lot of this has to do with the far left here's an overhead shot to try to get a grip of how long it goes all the way to the end over there it's completely packed with people densely and it goes beyond that as well and also in this direction it goes all the way so as as long as i can see i don't see an end to it 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 is really really large and this is of course happening in a city which has over 12 million people maybe even 15 or something like that so and here they, they have such numbers and if they all come out at once this is what happens and here i see someone whose backpack says extinction rebellion i really am curious what that is about and he's in yellow so that is different i'm close to where this march culminates now and it seems like um, a little rowdier here some fireworks are going off and things like that and there's a very heavy police presence here in particular I don't know um, if anything will happen more major than this but I'm pretty stuck as well the crowd is very very thick 
like this pillar ahead here is the culmination of the march the march goes for a very long time and there are going to be many more people coming into here so it's going to get extremely hard to get out of here and i have little time until my train at this point i can't be stuck here for too long Currently the police have um, sealed off this whole square and they're lining it on every side so whoever comes into here will have a hard time getting out except there's a little break here which I'll try to use. Some people are going through. Bumped into that policeman's shield there for a second which is not the best idea. Uh, yeah, you can see police vans lining this whole area, many police with shields, they're ready, they're ready for anything to go off, whether it will, nobody knows. Normally, normally in these cases there are some provocateurs who are trying to make things heat up, to try to stress a point. There's a line of people trying to get through, but the police is not letting people get out, actually. People are coming into the gathering, but not able to get out of it, which is strange. Especially since I'm one of the people that need to get out of here and catch my train. But um, police are controlling it, and I don't understand exactly what there's happening. I think I can get out, I hope. Let's try. Here as well we see people who are trying to get out and are not being let out by the police. In this whole circle around this big pillar there's police cordon and we that ended up entering here are having a hard time getting out even though you may have you may have nothing to do with this and just get caught up in it and now I have no idea how to get out. Um, we'll see. The police is on the move here. So I'm going to walk that way and hope I find a break in the police cordon so I can get out of here and get on my way to catch my train because this is pretty nuts. I can't spend too much longer here. It's huge. I wanted to film it going backwards but now I understand I'm gonna get stuck. Lady Justice there with a scale and a sword. I can go right over there and try to get out of this thing and look back. But this is a pretty cool shot here as it's coming forward. So I couldn't film this part but I finally got out and there was still a line of police right there as well. Right there there's a line of police and they checked me for weapons and then they let me out. Uh, on the other side where I'm now walking I see many police on motorcycles. So I still don't know if I'm in the clear and I also don't know where I am. I need to come back towards central Paris. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to catch my train to Gare Norde. How can I get there? Uh, Gare du Nord. Uh... This direction. Uh, okay. In front, at the, the end of the street. Okay. And there's no more blocking there. No, no, no. Yeah, here are blocking, but uh, okay. here it's free. Okay, I'll try this way. Thank you. So I checked the map, and it is um, 
not a good direction for me to be walking and it, it has to be a huge circle before I can turn back towards the train station this way and in addition to that I have to walk an extra mile to get my baggage which I checked in <laughs> into a locker gate here pretty thick they've linked up their cars and everything so I, I, I don't know how to get through I'm gonna ask them if they will let me through because it's close here, you understand? Uh, can I not just cross through? No, here? it's, it's not possible. Because they have nothing to do with this. You can take on the right and you ask, I'm right, okay? Because the next, next street on the right, and you ask, you ask. Alright, these policemen actually let me pass by. Um, now I need to get out of the other side of them so I can be on my way, this is crazy. Wow, finally I managed to get out and so now I'm cross the big blocked off area and I can probably move around now without getting stuck in this thing again that was pretty crazy uh, i think i'm cutting close I, I have about two hours to get my bag from the locker and then go back to the train station i am pretty far towards east paris and i have to get to central to get the bag and then to north and i have to do all that on foot because all, everything shut down because of the strike and this pro protest even though I'm walking a very large circle around the protest, the police are also here and sectioning everything off, you can see. And I really cannot get stuck again, so I have to continue moving out. I have to be faster than things happen. If the police decides to shut this down as well, then I'm stuck again. And who knows how long I have to walk. Here's another huge line of police waiting directions or commands another whole line of police cars is moving in that's a lot of them vans uh, they're empty which makes you wonder if they'll be full of people soon that get picked off the street or something or does the intent at least okay, this is bad because even after I drew up a huge circle I'm still up against the protest and the police here. Uh, people may be able to pass through. I will have to check out because I am trying to get through and they're exactly in my way. There's this big boulevard here, the big gray line on the map is exactly where I need to cross and that's exactly where the protest is. Ah, even here I'm up against the protest. I really don't care anymore. I've, I've been walking for 30,000 steps today, which is 20 kilometers through Paris today. And this protest is in my way to go and get my bag and, and then I have two hours to get out of the country. And instead, I am blocked by this. But I think the police is no longer on this end, so I can actually go through. This is what's going on here. At this point, there are fires and whatnot. Jeez. There we go. Paris is ablaze. All right, this is where I'm going to leave it at because I managed to cut through and I really don't want to get stuck again. I simply, I simply cannot get stuck again or I will not be able to catch my plane to America. So I am walking away from this protest. It's been fun. It's been eye-opening and I have a lot of content to put on YouTube, but I need to get out.